All right, good evening, First Chesapeake, and welcome to the First Chesapeake District Championship sponsored by Newport News Shipbuilding Chairman's Award Show. Our virtual award celebration tonight will be a live announcement of both, both of our 2020 District Championship Chairman's winners, selected from winners at our district events. We also have some important announcements to make at the end of the awards for the upcoming season and events, other events related to the 2021 season, so make sure you stick around towards the end. It shouldn't be too long. The Chairman's Award, as you guys all know, is the most prestigious award in FIRST, and it honors the team that best represents a model for other teams to emulate and best embodies the purposes and goals of FIRST. It's presented to the team that is judged to have the most significant, measurable impact of its partnerships among its participants and community over a sustained period, not just a single build season. The winner is able to demonstrate progress towards FIRST's mission of, our transform of transforming our culture, this year's winners were selected from the following teams that won the award at this season's district events. The teams were Team 422, the Mech Tech Dragons from Richmond, Virginia. Team 1086, Blue Cheese. Team 1111, Powerhawks Robotics. Team 1629, Garrett Co County Coalition, or GACO. 1885, Eyelight Robotics. 2068, the Metal Jackets. And 4541, the Cavaneers. Uh, we want to give a special thanks to our district championship chairman's judges, Stephanie Lockhart, Kent Hughes, Nikki Jackson, and judge advisor Carolyn Van Dam for the many hours of extra work that they dedicated to making this award ceremony and announcing these chairman's award winners possible. And I'd like, and as you guys can see, they're now on our screen uh, and will help me announce the two winners, um, which are in no particular order. So first, let's hear, hear what the judges had to say about our first district championship chairman's award winner. This vision-driven team models the spirit of FIRST by passionately providing outreach and development tools to other teams, enabling them to replicate the successful formula across Appalachia and beyond. This team believes in making strong connections by fostering memorable one-on-one -on -one experiences with their partners, community organizations, and school districts. They are always looking for ways to grow their outreach, and this year, this Chairman's Award champion pushed themselves to improve their enriching elementary outreach programs by surveying teachers and seeking their feedback. Like Johnny Appleseed, they continue to spread the seeds of FIRST, giving a whole new meaning to the notion of core curriculum. Congratulations to Team 1629, Garrett Coalition. Chairman, so let's bring them in. All right, let's play their chairman's award video. Dear Gacko, Thank you so much for coming to my school to start a first Lego League team. When I was in first grade, I went to Greensboro Elementary School, and I couldn't wait to be on your first Lego League team when I got to fourth grade. It was something I really wanted to do. In second grade, I was very sad because we moved to Pennsylvania, and I had to start going to a new school, Salisbury Elk Lake Elementary. I was sad because I found out that my new school didn't have a FLL team. But then, when I was in third grade, Gacko came to talk to our superintendent, Mr. Renzi, about starting a first team at my new school and about the difference that first robotics can make in a rural Appalachian district like Salisbury Elkluck. I guess that's why Gacko students came to my third grade classroom to teach me and my classmates why it's so important to know our multiplication facts and how gears multiply themselves by having us build our very own Lego top spinner. Gacko students teach these lessons so that elementary students have success in science, technology, engineering, and math and to become STEM ready. Teaching us your third grade lesson, Billy Shirt, Mr. Menzi, how a first grade team like GACO can make a difference to everyone, every student in an entire school district, whether or not they are on a first team. And it must have worked because this year I'm in fourth grade and I was so excited and happy when I found out that Mr. Renzi liked their program so much that he started two first Lego teams, one for my grade and one for fifth grade. So I got to be on a first Lego league team after all. Thank you for coming to my school and helping us each week with our practices and mentoring us with your robot. You made sure we knew what first core values are all about and how important it is for first teams to make a difference to others. GACO really made a difference to Salisbury Elk Lake Elementary School. 
Not only did every one of my classmates get a Lego top spinner, but my fourth grade FLO team tied for the top score at our competition, and my team received the Rising Star Award. Thank you so much, and thank you for coming back to teach my class your fourth grade lesson, what binary numbers are all about. I can tell GACO students really like teaching these lessons, almost as much as me, my teachers, and my classmates like them. I can only imagine the difference GACO is making in other school districts like Salisbury Elkluck, helping them establish first programs based on your model. But you make me feel that everything GACO has accomplished, you did just for me, and that makes me feel very special. GACO has a vision for Appalachia, for all kids like me to become STEM ready. Please don't make all the kids STEM ready before I'm in high school and join GACO. I have an FRC team of my own here at Salisbury Elkluck School District. I want to have fun to make a difference just like you have for me and my school. Thank you, GACO, for making a difference. Love, Carolyn. All right, so we're ready to hear what our, our judges had to say about the second district championship chairman's award winner we had. Um, let me start. This family-oriented team is dedicated to the first core values, uplifting each other and the underserved. This year, the team impressed the judges with their perfectly poised communication and how they spread the STEM message, spread the STEM message staying true blue. This Chairman's Award champion continues to advocate for those in their community and beyond, meeting with key local and state leadership. Additionally, they have provided funding through key microloans for STEM education, both here and abroad, as well as prototype, prototyping devices for athletes with disabilities. It's because of this team's dedication to STEM and excellence that we know the world will be a cheddar place. Congratulations to Team 1086 Blue Cheese. And let's bring them in. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll their video. The world has many cultures, and our culture of innovation starts with us. We are Team 1086 Blue Cheese Robotics, and our 65 students strive to spread our enthusiasm for STEM and FIRST throughout our community and around the world. To grow blue cheese culture in the community, we advocate year-round to fund STEM education on the local, state, and national level. We participate in school board meetings, Legislative Day, and the National Advocacy Conference. Last year, at a school board meeting, we advocated to maintain financial support for the Math Science Innovation Center in the county budget. Even though funding was not continued, blue cheese was still recognized for our efforts by both the Innovation Center and the Enrico County School Board. As one of the founding teams of the National Advocacy Conference, our students advocate to influence and collaborate with federal lawmakers in Washington, D.C. to promote the development of STEM education. I just wanted to give a big shout out and thank you to uh, FRC 1086 Blue Cheese. Um, no other team has proved to be more valuable and more helpful when it's come to starting that and growing it over the last six years. Blue Cheese has proposed and assisted in getting multiple pieces of legislation passed, such as SB 246 and the Crystal McGalla Commemorative Coin Act. These help fund STEM education in Virginia and nationwide to help support future engineers and leaders. As our culture grows, we spread our excitement across the globe with our Flat Dean and Woody Worldwide Geocaching Bugs and LEGO Math Kits. We immerse young innovators in the world of FIRST through our LEGO camps, demos, hosting FLL, FTC, and FRC events, and mentoring multiple teams. Through my 10 years of participating in FIRST Robotics, I've seen blue cheese everywhere in my community. Between demos and hosting FLL and FTC competitions, I couldn't wait to join Blue Cheese and help spread the love of FIRST and STEM. Being on Blue Cheese has allowed me to contribute to the community I grew up in and help others feel as excited about STEM as I was. I remember helping a new FLL team at a tournament that needed to almost completely redo their code. Later, I proudly watched this team climb their ranks on the leaderboard. We turn our way through the year encouraging students and youth from all backgrounds to participate in STEM learning activities. In our community, we reach out to the underserved through demos at schools, libraries, museums, and events like Girls for Change and the Sacred Heart Center Latino Camps to expose kids to STEM fundamentals and FIRST Robotics programs. It was the last day at Sacred Heart Center's Latino Camp where we teach coding and STEM concepts. We demoed a few of our robots. I watched the kids laughing and running around and wanting to drive the robots. I thought to myself, this is what Blue Cheese is really good at taking STEM and showing it to the kids and watching them just light up in interest and enjoyment. 
it's really great to see a kid who has trouble understanding some concepts and then you make this connection and they get what you're trying to tell them. Honestly, it's inspiring. Getting out there and making an impact in the community. Anyway you slice it, Team 1086 Blue Cheese is making the galaxy a cheddar place. All right, those were, that was it. Both of those videos were incredible. And honestly, like if you've ever seen any of these teams in the competitions, you know that how great they are to work with, how willing they are to help people out, and how willing they are to give advice. So if you're looking to start up a new program or just improve your own your own outreach program uh, to help spread the the, the ideals of first, um, go send in a message to these teams. Send them an email, text someone. Um, they all have really valuable information to make you to make our community, to the Chesapeake community. Uh, a better place. So now we've been saving a couple of announcements for the end. So we've got those two quick announcements. So first off, the 2021 district championship, which again will be sponsored by Newport News Shipbuilding, will be held at the Hampton Coliseum on April 15th and through 17th of 2021, and is still scheduled to include the same 80 teams. With schools closed, district qualifier events have yet to be confirmed, but we also have included some key dates on that slide, um, just to show right there. Um, to help teams with planning, including the kickoff date, which is January 9th, 2021, uh, and then week one, which is the uh, 5th through 7th of March, 2021, um, just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. So, and then also, and this is a little bit much, a little more sooner, much sooner, uh, we're pleased to announce that we'll have another town hall to discuss for the upcoming season. So to talk about the 2021 season um, with some of our first Chesapeake leaders, it's planned to start for Tuesday, July 7th, 2020 at from 7 to 8 p.m. Again, that's a town hall, Tuesday, July 7th, 2020 from 7 to 8 p.m. Just to keep you guys in the loop. Um, and that's all my announcements. So that concludes our award ceremony. Please join me in congratulating all the teams for their performance and more importantly for all their efforts, the efforts that have gone through whether you won or didn't win uh, a chairman's award. All the efforts have been really important for spreading uh, what's important about FIRST and that's the, and that's the science, technology, engineering, and math um, and all the other creative outlets we have. Um, and I'd like, like to thank all of our FIRST Chesapeake sponsors, including Accenture, Bechtel, Booz Allen Hamilton, Becton Dickinson, Cannon, Virginia, Capital One, Dominion Energy, Hamilton Beach, Lidos, Mid-Atlantic Broadband, New Newport News Shipbuilding, Northrop Grumman, Price, Water Coop Price Waterhouse Coopers, Rolls-Royce, Show Best Fixture, and Triangle Education Foundation. Thank you guys for sponsoring this, uh, this incredible organization. I'm thrilled to be a part of it and thrilled to announce these winners to you. Uh, and thank once again, thank you to our judges for the time they put in for this event. Um, and in closing, please enjoy this video from our 2021 District Championship title sponsor, Newport News Shipbuilding. Thank you all and good night.